excited this afternoon to come to People's Voice Media um, to update uh, everybody about what happened at Community Committee last Thursday. It was quite a well attended meeting, I think probably had 40 plus people there, including residents, people from organisations and ward councillors. Okay, from the top, walking centre. I updated the group um, about a meeting I've been to with the PCT board, representing our thoughts and our aspirations for keeping the walking centre within Pendleton. As to whether we've been listened to, I would like to think so, but we'll have to see what happens in the future. I also updated the group about the time that planning application had gone the week previously to planning. Um, I'd read the lead uh, officer's report before it went to planning, and that covered the issues that we were talking around, around dust management, transport um, of the scrapings, etc. We've asked though that in the future, or we're going to ask in the future, if a group of people from community committee can get together and we can have a look at the health implications for the war industry that we seem to be attaining um, in Charlestown. Health provision, as I say, the walk-in centre, hopefully we'll get some feedback. Um, a comical note, we were informed that it's not Canadian geese, it's Canada geese, that uh, one of the residents keeps bringing up as being an issue that Manchester United keep trapping, but hopefully we've resolved that, but we'll have to see in the future. Um, there was representation at the meeting from some residents about what was ha happening to Broughton Rec and I think we've actually got social enterprise in the area who may be interested in taking over the management of the building from SCL. Policing was a, an interesting probably three or four minutes presentation from Sergeant Mark Coulson about crime in the area and the figures um, and these have dropped quite dramatically and uh, Mark Coulson got a round of applause which is a change from a jeer that he probably can sometimes get if the crime figures are quite high. We also had at the meeting um, Jeff from SCL who was there to update piece of people about SCL, the libraries and other services that may be affected by the cuts that the council may actually be making or I should say actually making. Um, the biggest part of the agenda was taken by um, Keith Barnes and Linda Richens who were updating us about the university's master plan and phase one. Um, the good thing to come from the meeting, part of the presentation, was the fact that we did have some interaction by members in the room that have decided to come together and work as a group to make representation and work possibly with the university so that the community's voice and opinions are actually heard. Thank you. Um, because we care about the community. Try and get some of the problems that we've got, try and get some of my views on. Well, I'm here to represent uh, Clues Gardeners, we're a community gardening group. I'm just here uh, representing the campus plan at the community committee um, and talking really about uh, representing. Uh, well, I'm here to get feedback uh, from people uh, about their opinions for the campus plan, for the first phase of the campus plan, which is the first five years. Uh, I'm at the community committee here this evening uh, representing the University of Salford. Um, to give a presentation about some of our proposals over the next few years, um, which is very important to us and clearly is important to the commu community. I'm at the community committee, but it's Salford, because I'm one, I'm vice chair, and because I'm uh, very uh, involved with lots of things that are going on in the area. I'm a regular attender at the Salford Community Committee. I'm here at this particular one because the university is actually coming to present on its master plan which has been bouncing around as rumours and the occasional vague piece of paper and now we finally managed to get hold of the rarest hen's teeth copy of the university's master plan and we're going to hear what they've got to say for themselves tonight whether they're going to build in Peel Park. If it means building across a lot of land that's quite um, an old piece of sulphur then I don't know, I'm not too sure on that. Uh, about the proposals from the university. Uh, they've got a master plan which they're not sharing with the community. They're only giving them dribs and drabs of it. It's very interesting. Yeah. Um, from my understanding of the phase one um, campus plan, um, the university is investing in a lot of student accommodation, um, new state of the art facilities, buildings, so they're reinventing and refurbishing new buildings. I think it would be really good because they're doing a lot of changes that would. Uh, make it better for uh, future students and both the local people. I learned more about people's passions in relation to past issues. Um, I learned more about Peel Park, it, not only its importance in Salford's history, but the, the perception of, of the access. Um, and I think another point that I learned um, 
It's just more about when people sit there in the committee, they, ha they, they sit there with several purposes. They sit there on behalf of organizations they work for, yeah. the work, uh, organizations that they volunteer yeah. for, and places that they live. Well, it is a good idea because it has different people from all our areas to come and give their point of view, saying what's wrong with their areas, can it be made better? It is a good meeting place and you can talk to other people, get their ideas, put yours forward and hope someone is listening and usually they do listen. <laughs>